everyone welcome back to my channel so i officially brought you my first halloween makeup tutorial now um i know this title is called goddess um rusty i don't know i, I really don't know what to title this video yet so whatever the title is yes this is a goddess um rusty um coppery look I literally came up with this look last night because I saw these wings. No, not last night. I, I was thinking about this look, but I saw these little wings in like a little perfume box that I gave my mom and I just ripped them off and I was just like, I have to do a goddess look. So, um, yeah, this is basically what I came up with. Um, now let me shut the fuck up because I always talk so much shit. If you want to know how to get this goddess crazy ass look for Halloween, then please keep on watching. Hey guys, so I already covered my brows off camera because um, I feel like that's like a boring part already and if you want me to do like a tutorial on how I cover my brows then let me know down below because I would love to do that even though I'm not the best at it. I re oh my god, they're taking out the trash right now. But yeah, if you do want a tutorial on it, let me know down below because I would love to do one. And for foundation today, I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. It's actually one of my favorite foundations because it is full coverage and well medium to full coverage and it dries matte and i love that especially for this look because um i just hate really greasy foundations because it's really hard to set them so i really like a matte foundation that way i could easily set it and then just go on with my contour so i'm just gonna apply this even though i already started like an idiot i forgot i was filming and for concealer i'm going to be using the photo focus by wet n wild as well in the shade light ivory then I'm going to set my under eyes using the RCMA no color powder Alrighty, so I'm going to do one eye off camera just to see what the fuck I'm going to be doing and then I'll be right back. Oh my god guys, I'm starving. Um, honestly, <laughs> I have no idea what I just did. I literally just, just went crazy. Like, I just don't know, I really don't know what I did. But, um, I hope it's cute. I kind of like it. It's actually really, like, I actually like it. So, that's all that matters. So, let's just keep on going so to start off this look i'm going to be going in the 3502 palette by morphe it is their new palette that is launching on october 12th i am so excited it's actually so fucking good like you guys don't understand how amazing this palette is <sighs> you're not ready and to start off i'm going to be using the shade heat as my transition color so with this shade i'm just going to be going over here and dragging it down on the nose area just slightly and then I'm just going to start blending that out. And right around this area, what I like to do is kind of draw like an invisible line and just sweep that up. Kind of like you're dipping and then going up. The next shade I'm going to use is called Fire, and I'm just going to go on top of this to make everything a little bit more red and just to give it more warmth. Make sure you blend that up. And now to deepen up that crease, I'm going to be using the shade Toast. Then I'm going to use the shade Contour and Brick to blend that out and to also remove kind of the reddish feeling we're going for because I kind of wanted to lean towards more copper and warm tones instead of like red. So I'm going to be using these two to blend that out. Then to darken that even more, I'm going to be using the shade Muddy. Then I'm going to be using the shade Universal and Orb to go on top of that to just blend out the edges. And 
literally the only thing I hate about covering my brows is that you could see this little line here and it's like kind of shiny. Ugh, I hate. The, sometimes I wish I had no brows because like literally this is the reason why like I hate covering my brows. Now I'm going to be cutting this crease with the uh, Citrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. Once I've set that with powder, I'm going to darken the crease even more with this shade called Wiz. Now moving on to liner, and for liner, I'm going to be using Inglot 77 Gel Liner. Now I haven't used this liner in a long time, so it's going to be a bit of a challenge to work with, but I could do it. So my camera died, what else is new? So I lined the bottom portion of my eye to kind of give a cat eye effect and then I winged it out over here on the side. Now it kind of didn't come out like this one so I apologize for that. But I'm going to be lining my eyes with some white eyeliner and um, yeah. Then I'm going to get some liquid liner. This is the white liquid liner from NYX Cosmetics and I'm going to fill in the blanks. Then I'm going to go along our wing. Kind of fade that. Then also on the bottom as well. Alrighty guys, so now for the little dots that I created here, what I did was I used this Essence Rock and Doll liner pen. It's like a like a dotted liner. I know NYX has one. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna draw 10 dots uh, along the cut crease and then put glitter and then circle that to give it you'll see what I'm gonna do. You'll see. Then I'm going to get this glitter called Rust by Elo Cosmetics. And with the back of a brush, I'm just going to be applying the glue on the black dots. So I had to stop for a second because I really couldn't do that on camera. That was a little too much to... That was just a lot. But yeah, I'm going to put on lashes afterwards because my lashes are made of construction paper and I do not want them to get wet when I spray it with Fix Plus. So um, yeah, let's move on to the face. So now to contour my face, I'm going to be going in my Z palette that has all my little contour shades. And I'm going to be going in with the shade Fawn by Anastasia. It is a very cool toned like really really cool tone shade that I use for my nose and I'm gonna be using it today for my cheeks because I absolutely love this shade and I'm gonna be using the Makeup Shack T28 brush to contour and I'm gonna be going a bit higher than usual because I want to really pulled back you know like just thickening cheekbones so I'm just gonna be going all the way up here to where my ear is and I'm just gonna bring that down Now I'm going to cut the cheeks with some powder. I'm going to make sure that it is snatched. Alrighty, so I am snatched to filth. Now I'm not sure if I want to do like blush or not. 
No, I'm gonna do blush. I'm gonna do something. So I'm gonna be going in with this blush kit from Anastasia. I'm gonna be dipping in this shade over here called Terrace. And a little bit of Caroline, no, Coastline. I always fuck that name up. And I'm just gonna go on the highest point of my cheeks. Just to give the cheeks a little bit of color. Alrighty, now I'm gonna dust off all the bake. Look at that. Cut. Cut. Now I'm just gonna spray my face with some Fix Plus. Uh, only like on this portion so I could highlight my face to the gods. So now I'm gonna go in with my favorite highlighter book, the Ofra Pro Highlighter palette book thing it's literally my favorite i accidentally scratched some of the highlighters but i'm gonna be going in with a golden type of highlighter so more towards here so um yeah but i still want to blind you know to the god i want to like blind everybody because hello it's a goddess look like come on all right guys so the highlighter is on now it looks a little unblended i really tried to blend it out I don't know if it, because the thing is, I don't have a monitor like every other YouTuber. My monitor is my little viewfinder on my camera. From forward, it looks really good. From the side, it looks kind of like a little, a little weird. Now I'm going to be putting on this shade from Ofra Cosmetics in the shade Mocha. I haven't used this shade in a long, long, long time and I'm really excited to try it again. So I'm just going to be using this as a base for my glitter. Now I'm going to put on the same glitter that I used on my eyes. So now I'm going to put on some lashes and I will be right back. Alright guys, so I have lashes on and these, I made these with black cardboard paper. And then the bottom lashes are Iconic Lashes by House of Lashes. So now I'm going to add the accessories and we're basically done with the look. This is what actually inspired the look, like these little things. I got them from my mom's perfume box. I think it's called Olympia or something like that. But I literally saw these and I'm like, I have to do a goddess look with them. So I'm going to put them on the side of my face. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Alrighty guys, so this is the completed look. Oh, I almost destroyed my look but yeah guys this is the completed look um i know i was all over the place today and that's because i had no idea what i was doing at all like really when do i ever though <laughs> but yeah i really hope you enjoyed this copper rust goddess look i really enjoyed doing it for you guys i like i'm so shook i literally came up with this look like yesterday and i was just like hmm, what am i gonna do so i kind of drew it out but I just let my brain do its magic and I'm I'm really obsessed with how it turned out. But yeah guys, um I want to thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. My Instagram and Twitter is Morphine Love M U A and my Snapchat is Morphine Love. I will be putting all of that down below. And if you have any other ideas you want me to do, anything that you have in mind, let me know down below and I will get to it as soon as I can. I love you guys so 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 much and please stay safe.